Hello Sagittarius, this is a weekly spread for you, week October 26th through November the 1st. <clears throat> this week I'm using a tarot deck, uh, something to do with the fantasy. I'll write below my videos of what, uh, how it calls, uh, what's the name of the deck correctly, I'll write it there. And uh, this week I'm doing my usual spread as I used to do. A little bit of laziness last week. Please forgive me for that. We'll start with a home and family position. You have nine of pentacles. Very beautiful home. Some nice things there. It's very uh, like pleasant to see it. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I guess, <clears throat> excuse me, I guess it will be a really uh, nice week because I see at home abundance, uh, calm, nice, uh, even a rich atmosphere. Maybe it's not like rich, uh, a lot of gold and stuff like that, but it looks very aesthetic, I don't know, beautiful, special. So at home everything is just fine. In love and relationships, here is five of wands. We see it's like supposed to be ducks, <laughs> I guess. <clears throat> but in this kingdom of fantasy, uh, uh, animals are also strange. That's why where the neck and the head must be, it's wands here. And they're trying to catch this, I suppose it's mouse. So, five of wands, it's cut off uh, conflict, discussions, jealousy, might be jealousy as well. Uh, or if you are single Sagittarius, it can be when we have this inner conflict about something. In our mind, in our soul, uh, there is different thoughts, feelings, and they are conflicting inside us. Uh, maybe, maybe Five of Wands can symbolize passion as well. I hope it will be like this, <laughs> more passion, but it doesn't have to be conflict like serious conflict. It can be just like, uh, I don't know, having a fight, making it up, having a fight, making it up, uh, got jealous, then uh, get in the bed. <laughs> so I don't know, anything, anything, but it's not still and quiet <laughs> by five or four ones. Job, you have the Empress card. Empress, em, Empress, it's always abundance, growth, uh, when things are going really well, I mean in this real material world. It's not like in theory, we like it, it's a creativity, it's a great creativity. Um, so maybe you will be doing something, I don't know, like beginning or finishing or doing something huge uh, creative work this week. It's really wonderful card, wonderful. And in finances, the sun, the sun, happiness, optimism. Finally, like we see all, everything is in the light. Everything is clear for us we see not only a perspective in the future like a star, not only dreaming or hope, uh, hoping to get something, something real is happening and we are feel so optimistic about our future. There must be a reason, I guess. We will not, we are not uh, crazy, just be optimistic. It's major arcana, the sun. So I think you will get some payment. Uh, you will sign a contract. Anything uh, big and wonderful can happen for uh, all of you. It will be different. But anyway, it's a great major arcanas. They are very positive. They are extremely positive. So I'm so happy for you, dear Sages. Then we're coming to advice. You have advice, uh, the Hermit card. Hermit symbolizes when someone is very wise. You can't, uh, he is not getting in any kind of temptations. You can't, uh, 
like this person is really uh, when it comes to conflicts if we're talking about for example here this person is like uh, he is not fighting he is not conflicting he just he just walking a little bit away for a while and staying alone because he don't want to get into this so you have advice like this be very wise stay calm use your inner wisdom this inner light uh, will help you this week and in anti-advice five of pentacles as anti-advice self-pity uh, thinking and uh, anxiety when we have about something anything mm. what else it can be feeling like outsider like i'm unlucky about some i don't know what it can be it, i don't see the reason here maybe it's about something else and i don't know what it is if it's about this then it's understandable but you have to remember dear sages that hermit here with this five of wands if you are successful person everything is just fine at work at home you have wonderful home it's beautiful there and for some reason you have some fights like people are who are dearest to you they are like fighting with you i don't know they are conflicting with you by the hermit i can tell you that probably it can be your fault i just hope you will understand it at least uh, uh, i don't know maybe it's not easy to accept it but it can be your fault actually but you don't have to fight uh, discuss anyway you have to like try to hold back a little bit but if you know that it's your fault that you're doing something wrong uh, then please don't blame the destiny don't blame others that they are not accepting you for some reason and we'll take we'll pick the card from Manara deck tarot deck if it will be too erotical I will not show it on camera because uh, children watching as well no it's not so bad that's why I can show it for this five of ones Manara tarot deck showing the devil and devil it's always uh, like our uh, let's say own vices of some kind uh, maybe sexual dependence on something our own bad traits something is wrong because devil it's not right you know like uh, what what it can be what it can be of course devil devil is always like awakening in us some bad things jealousy when we want something wrong uh, I mean from the universe from the point of universe it's wrong it can be anything I will not like uh, tell uh, what it can be but we all uh, most of people I believe they perfectly knows what is right and what is wrong and devil it's something wrong so probably you have this uh, uh, problems because there is some devil in this situation something from the devil so dear Sergius I hope uh, at least you will understand what it can be and you will uh, light your soul inside yourself instead of complaining 
and especially blaming the destiny or other people in something. So, dear Sages, I'm wishing you a great week. I hope all those things, they will really come true into your life. And this one will be just something small and easy. <laughs> I'm wishing you good luck and hope to see you soon.